So this is the Danfi Audio. This is the retro lifestyle Bluetooth record player. Um, it is pink, um, which is nice. And you can see that it's got the built-in speakers here uh, and can play uh, multiple suites of records. So we're gonna go through the unboxing here. A couple things before we get started, just that you wanna know, it does have three speeds on the turntable. Uh, it has a built-in stereo speaker, 3.5 millimeter aux jack, Bluetooth connectivity, you can also do USB recording and playback. It does have RCA outputs for external speakers. Um, comes in four colors. There's white, um, pink, which is this color, black, and kind of an aquamarine blue. So let's jump into the box and show you what we've got. Here we go. Okay, so straight out of the box, um, you get everything here. You also get an extra needle and an extra needle protector if you're not familiar with record players or vinyl players. Uh, they need a needle play does come with an extra one which is really nice so i'm gonna flip this all the way upside down and kind of dump this out it does have a dust cover already which i love okay so we're just going to show you the back first you can see here that this is your power right here and then you also have your rca that you can go uh left speaker right speaker uh, which is nice. So depending on if you have a speaker system, it does come with a dust cover. So let's just set this down and pull off all of the wrapping here. Set the needle over here. Damphy Audio makes a pretty good record player, right? They've kind of niched down in this classic retro look here so i'm gonna pause while i take off all this last time i did a video this took a little while but here's the whole player here so they zoom out just a little bit let's see there's the whole player here uh here's our power cord it comes here and we already showed you the plug in the back so it's just your classic ac adapter here and then it does come with a foam pad and uh, it does give you a little bit of information on here on how to use the actual player itself. Again, you've got your three speeds, 33, 45, 78. You've got a button over here. We'll go into all the details, but give me just a second. I'm gonna pull off all this tape and get rid of some of this trash and kind of walk you through stuff. So we've got all this pl plastic off and just very important. If you've never used a record player before, you wanna make sure that you read through the instructions. I'm not gonna go through all of them here. Again, as we get super close in, you can see right there, you've got your three speeds, 33, 45, and 78. You've got your on-off switch here. You want to make sure that uh, they do this for stabilization. Now, one of the questions that got asked is, um, you know, I had somebody reach out to me and ask me a question about uh, a record player is, why is this kind of movable? Well, and in reality, what this is for is, is it's to balance out your record player on uneven surfaces so that this kind of gives a little bit of give, almost like shocks, so that you don't get a lot of bouncing and skipping across your record player. So I'm going to change the angle here really quick and just show you kind of the front options that you have here. So again, you've got your aux jack. For any sort of USB or TF that you put in that you want to have separate music, you can mix tracks that way. You can also control your tracks. And then right here on your needle, you see that you've got this plastic casing that just comes right off. It just slides off here. And then your needle is that little part right there. So you've got an extra one of these plastic covers and needle itself. If you ever run out of needles, you can find them anywhere. Um, and then you've got your on off switch right here. So we've got it plugged in. So we just turned it on. We got a little bit of volume here. And now um, I'll play a little bit of a record for you. This is Shaky Graves, Roll Them Bones. This is a special edition that I got at a live concert. You can see uh, here, it's kind of this gold here. And there's a nice little mechanism right here that locks down the arm. When we lift it up, you'll see and start moving it over, it's automatic, it starts spinning. So as we set this down, 
got the volume just at a little bit here. Before our song kicks on. He only knew how to do it. Now, depending on the size of your record, right, your 33 is the big, 45, and then they make small ones for 78. That's the speed that it plays in. So I'm not actually going to play it. Um, I will just show you how fast it moves as we're going through. So if I go 45, you can see it spins a little bit faster. Then 78 even faster. If we go back to 33, which is this size, and just drop this on. That was the end of the song. Here's our next song. It's going to click on right now. Our speakers are right here in front. Down the road, down the road, and a street or two away. There's that freckle, this is it. I want. So when we turn it off, this automatically stops. We're going to bring the arm back over, set it here. Remember, we've got a little bit of give, and then just lock this back in place. So now I'm going to connect it to Bluetooth and show you what the Bluetooth sounds like. So we are now connected to Bluetooth. It does have a name. It's the TE2017. You can connect automatically, whether you're on Android or iPhone. And this is just some copyright free music. You can see right here, I'm in Bluetooth mode and it's just playing what's coming right off of my speakers, uh, off of my playlist. Again, we're not playing the record. We're playing Bluetooth music here. This is copyright free. So let me just go through some final things that I really, really like about this. Uh, why I would recommend this for starters. Uh, also for um, first time record owners uh, or vinyl player owners because it's super easy and very intuitive to use. So let's jump into that. Okay, some of my final thoughts. Um, the thing that I really, really like about the Danfi Audio, right, is they've kind of got this thing niched down where you've got this classic look, um, you know, retro look. So a few things that I did not necessarily point out, right, is that the dust cover here on the hinges, when you get to the top, it just, it stays open. It doesn't fall, right? And there's just a couple screws right here and right here that if that ever gets loose, you just need to tighten those up. The other thing that I really, really like is there's these two rubber pads on, let's see if I can slide this over, two rubber pads right here. And so when you drop this, the plastic is not hitting the actual player itself. So it's protecting this, these little rubber things here. Uh, you've got the three speeds, right? You also have your cover here um, that you can basically lift up. So if I unhinge here, so you can do this automatically and release and it comes over and then you can just do kind of a slow set there. And you'll notice that the mode automatically changed to the record player when I put that on. The other thing that I really, really like that they've done on multiple players is they've kind of got this felt pad that, uh, protects your vinyl from the plastic itself, right? And so when you set your record down, you're not setting it, you know, vinyl on plastic, which, you know, other companies do, but you've kind of got this felt thing here that you can do that. It also comes with a replaceable needle and protective cover. So as we put this on, this is the one that it came with. We're going to drop this down and then just lock this into place. You've got three modes. Again, you can listen to Bluetooth, you can listen to records and then you can plug in a USB, which we showed you right down here. You also have an aux jack, so you can actually have a record playing and put in headphones and listen to in your headphones. All of the buttons are kind of nice and clean and chic and everything fits together well. It's really packaged very, very nicely and it comes again with an extra needle uh, in this package here. So.